This tour will adhere to the following naming conventions for the sake of clarity. The Procreate Handbook interchangeably refers to files located in the gallery as either canvases or artwork. Since we're touring the gallery in this video, we're going to stick with those terms. There are two primary menus in Procreate. We'll refer to these primary menus as the Gallery menu and the Open Canvas menu since we have to open a canvas to see that menu. These aren't official menu names in the Procreate Handbook, but again, for the sake of clarity, we're going to refer to them as such in this video. Starting it with a gallery menu, I don't want these example artworks in here, so I'll delete them by choosing the Select selection. When I do, the plus symbol in the upper right rotates into an X. The white gallery menu will be replaced by a grayed out select mode menu. A blue bar will slide in as a visual cue for being in select mode. Little selection buttons will appear next to the canvas titles. And when one or more of those buttons are selected, the grayed out select mode menu will light up. Having selected the example artwork, I tap delete and then confirm that I do want to proceed. Know that after you delete your own artwork, there's no going back. But after you delete this example artwork, you can go back by tapping the Procreate title and selecting the Restore Sample Art. I do not want to restore, so I'm tapping the X to exit. As for the other Select Mode menu items, Duplicate is rather self-explanatory, and the Share options are available in two different locations. Here in Select Mode, you can share multiple canvases in the gallery. And these same share options are also nested in the Open Canvas menu, which allows you to share the one canvas that's currently open. And these share options are discussed at length in these two handouts. Preview allows you to take a peek at one or more selected canvases without having to open and close them one at a time. We're going to be talking about stacks in just a second, but quickly, stacks are multiple canvases bundled together, and when we select them to preview, all items whether stacked or not will scroll through by order of appearance. Stacks allow you to free up space in your gallery by selecting multiple canvases and grouping them into expandable bundles. Having selected these canvases, you're going to see them group into a new stack as soon as I tap this menu selection. To undo any stacks created here in the select mode, press the X and return back to the gallery, and you'll see the X rotate back into a plus symbol. Having exited select mode and returned to the gallery, you won't see a stack selection in the gallery menu. You'll use press and drag gestures instead. And before we undo the stack we just created, let's add to it to show that you can actually stack items directly in the gallery itself without having to go into select mode. So I'm pressing on this quick shape exercise and bring it in like so. And also note that whatever image is positioned in the upper left hand corner is going to be the image that's seen out in the gallery. If I wanted to remove a canvas from this stack, I would press and drag it atop the stack name which will flash blue and then bump that canvas back into the gallery as a standalone. Now to position these things down towards the end is easy enough, but if you wanted to position in between, it's a little bit fiddly and it takes some getting used to. But you need to be careful as I'm hovering here as not to hover over a stack because I'll put it into another stack. So ever so gingerly, I would press just beneath the two that I'm trying to squeeze this in between and let go. And again, it's fiddly. I think I've made my point. It can be done, but it's not really worth it. There. I'm going to fast forward and ungroup this collection because I don't want them stacked and I don't care about the order, so I'm just going to drag them all down to the lower right hand corner. Note that the select menu items will be applied to the entire contents of a highlighted stack. So if you want to preview, share, duplicate, or delete just one item, open its containing stack, highlight it, and then choose your menu item of choice. Returning to the gallery by tapping the stack name, note how that name appears beneath the stack and the number of contained artworks are beneath that title. Scrolling down to this cluster of standalone canvases, their pixel dimensions are displayed below their names.
So I'm noticing that my stack here, this white block, I left one image behind in an unnamed stack. So I'm going to delete this stack. I need to come back again, press and drag. Bring that down to the lower corner. And that stack disappears and I've got my quick shapes exercise back down at the bottom. And to name a stack or file, you would tap on the title. Like so. And you don't tap on the thumbnail itself. You tap on the title below. With all the clacking noise, you're correct to assume that I'm attached to a keyboard. And what's really cool is the ability to enter text using the Apple Pencil. Just scribble to delete existing text and then just start writing to enter text. Which is pretty cool. The import and photo menu items are a dedicated point of discussion in this two-part set of videos. And as the title implies, those videos discern a clear difference between importing and inserting. And finally, this last gallery menu item also warrants a dedicated discussion, which is held on the pages of this handout. But quickly, tapping the plus symbol will open the new canvas palette where you can, as expected, create a new canvas. The precise templates that are stored in this palette are set with appropriate color profiles and image resolutions, and all of that is covered in the handout. We're going to open that handout right now to do an exercise on the last page, and then in the next video we're going to take on the canvas menu.